Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, January 24th, 2021. This puzzle's got a title. It's called Sugar Sugar. Alright, let's get started. Imagining we might have a candy-themed puzzle here. That's my, that's my guess. One-time Sony rival. So a Sony rival that's not around anymore? Hmm, so it wouldn't be like Panasonic or something. Hmm. Prepare for a road trip, perhaps? Um, is it just pack up? Hmm. Signature item? Yeah, that could be a pen. Use a pen to write your signature. Depletes with up? That could be uses up. I think I might be doing okay with my pack up answer. Huh. Swiss painter Paul. I'm not sure about that one. Bookworms call dad. All right. This clue is definitely strange. Um, yeah, like the grammar is weird. So I think we can pretty safely assume that this is a theme answer. It looks like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but um, when there's sentence weirdness like this, it's usually due to a theme answer. Um, yeah, bookworms. What's another one for bookworms? Nerds or something? All right, let's come back to when we have more more crossing answers. Deep secret. Hmm. Can we get it down here? End of a threat. Yeah, that's going to be or else. And maybe we can get this. The land down under. I mean, down under is Australia, but since this has a question mark, I think we're going to be thinking of something else, another meaning of down under. Maybe like the Earth's mantle or something, or like something that's under the Earth's mantle. Hmm. I don't know. Paul. Isn't there a, a painter called Paul Klimt? Do we have rebuses maybe in this puzzle? Nor Efren and Sofia Coppola for two. Um, hmm. Well, Sofia Coppola is a director. Nor Efren's also a director. Hmm. It, it almost looks like it start, should start with women. Maybe woman direct. Yeah, that doesn't fit. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Deep secret. Is it Polaroid? Polaroid? No, that's too long. Hmm. Can we get these downs? Walk blanks? Maybe walk ins? Prickly covering of a seed. Hmm. Is it a burr? Hmm. Yeah, that's looking pretty good, actually. Am I the only one? Yeah, I think maybe pack is wrong. Maybe that's why we're having so much trouble. Um, yeah, isn't it Gustav Klimt, actually? Yeah, I was totally off base there. Right, so this is actually looking like Toshiba. Okay, yeah, and maybe this is something else. I'm not sure what that is. It's not fuel up. Hmm. Deep secret. Hmm. What's this, H? The land down under. Is it hell? Hells? Is there plural hells? Hmm. Yeah, we're not really be we're not able to finish this this corner off. I think without getting the theme. So maybe let's move on to the next section, and that can help figure out what's going on with the theme here. Off color. Maybe that's blue, like a rude or um. Yeah, like a rude joke or a dirty joke, maybe. Beatles title woman. Well, there's a lot of 
women's names in Beatles songs. Hmm. Would this be as for your request? Yeah, I think maybe blue might be wrong. You betcha. Maybe that's just yep. Off color. Could that be ashy maybe? Or I thought the word was ashen. Hmm, I don't know about that. Blank, dead, Mark Twain play. Hmm. Oh man. Not much help in here. Bookworms call dad. Somebody whose business is picking up. Picking up garbage? Maybe picking up the phone? Hmm. Ancient Egyptians. Boy, we gotta, we gotta find somewhere to get a toehold in here. A sacred cross in ancient Egypt is an Ankh. It's nice, right next to the ancient Egyptians there. Common baking pear. Um... Hmm. Well, I don't know. I, I know a few varieties of pear. There's a Bosque pear. I don't know if that's the right one, but I like that CH down there, so maybe we can keep that. Singer Watson, aka Tones and I, with the 2019 hit Dance Monkey. Yeah, I'm not going to get that one. Fancy Feast alternative. Isn't that Friskies? Sardine container is a tin. Okay. So maybe it's Tony or something. Hmm. Stud muffin. Hmm. Shouldn't that be a hunk or something? Hmm. What is this? This is going to be another theme answer, probably, right? Two core exercises all day, every day? Um, well, a core exercise is crunches, right? So maybe at least the beginning is crunch. Hmm. Is it not friskies? Because this looks like it should be hunk to me. Maybe it's whiskas? Yeah. Yeah, maybe Friskies is I-E-S. Ooh, that's a tough one. So maybe this is screenwriters? I guess they're directors and screenwriters. I think Nora Ephron has directed movies. Maybe she is just a screenwriter. I'm not sure about that one. Color marker. Hmm. This is definitely Aaron Brockovich. It was a movie with Julie Roberts in the 90s, based on a, a real person, a real lawyer. Color marker. Gusto. That might be Elan, but I think that more means like with skill. Hmm. Holiday dish served with sour cream or applesauce. I think that's latke, latkes. Those are usually, um, I think like Hanukkah, uh, a Hanukkah dish? Maybe it is Elan. Hmm. Response to an order. That could be I, like in uh, a military. Color marker. I guess that could be a crayon. Um, logical connector would be Nor. Yeah, that sounds good. Government work with a forerunner known as the Black Chamber. Yikes, that's scary. I guess it's probably the NSA. So... Well, we have the beginning of this theme answer. Crunch the n numbers? No. A palindromic farm animal is gonna be a U, I think. We shall overcome. Civil rights anthem. With the greatest of ease. Japan street food mecca. Hmm. Maybe it's Osaka that fits there. Diarist who documented the Great Plague of London. Huh. I don't know this one. Burger King binge fest. Well, the Burger King burger is the Whopper, right? So... 
Hmm. Whopper Feast or something. Race units is going to be laps. Supernova in our galaxy. Milky Way? Well, our galaxy is called the Milky Way, so... Man, I'm getting the beginning of these, but... Yeah, and then I was thinking this was nerd, right? Nerds... Something? Oh, this is Hades, yeah. I was thinking hell, but yeah, it's... it's just, I guess it's the same idea. I guess it's Arcanum? Um... Like, something that's arcane is not known to many people. Hmm. I don't usually see that form of the word. Tank up. Yeah, I thought it was fill up, right? Yeah, it's the same idea. Okay. Paul Klee. Yeah, that's faintly ringing a bell. Okay. Well, we finished off that corner, but it's still... This This is eluding me, This the end of this. Call Dad. Nerds ring, nerds rings up. No, nerds ring pop. Oh, that's right. Maybe we should have had the theme name of the puzzle in mind, which was, if I remember correctly, sugar, sugar. So it looks like these are going to be ring pop. And this is going to be maybe two candies put together. Nerds and Ring Pop. Okay. Boy, I, I imagine some of you caught on a lot faster than I did. All right, so I think I haven't had these kind of childhood Halloween candies in a long time, but I used to love candy as a kid, so hopefully uh, my memory can do some work here and get us to this these theme answers. Um, oh, so I think these are gonna be fun now that I kind of know what's going on here. Milky Way, Whopper, Crunch, Crunch Bar, maybe? Yeah, anyway, yeah, it, it's gonna be um, two candies back to back, it looks like. So, Justice Ginsburg chuckles, young. So, Baby Ruth, right? Because it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Baby Ruth. And then, what's a word for laughing that's a candy? Um. Laffy Taffy? Not really, right? Um, is there any other words that's... Or that means to laugh that's a candy? Hmm. All day, every day. Hmm. Uh, ancient Egyptians maybe could be Nubians. Crunch now and later maybe yeah that's good now and later's with a rock hard candy that were uh kind of like S starburst yeah um okay yeah we got the we got the we got the idea going here all right i still want to get this chuckles one i, I, I gotta stop looking at it i'm wasting time up there um hmm, maybe if i can just get the first letter It'll help me get along there. Sop up. Absorb as sauce with bread. Sop up. Got hip with up is maybe wised up. Um, how a door might be slammed. Maybe angrily. I think doors are slammed angrily fairly often. So what is this? Lynx Group US Golf Association maybe? Stubborn sorts. I mean, this might be asses. It's like a donkey or a, a burrow. Disc golf? Yeah. Hmm. Dinner table expander is a leaf. It's a little section that you can put into a table to make it bigger. Milky Way. Starburst, right? Yeah. Because a, a supernova is a star exploding. Nice, okay. Gets lost. Scats, maybe? Whoppers? Hmm. 
Give extra consideration with on. It's not dwell on. Hmm. Idaho EG in dialect. Hmm. Subcontractor, subcontractor in a bathroom remodel. I think that'll probably be a Tyler. Someone who tiles. Elusive legend is possibly a Yeti. Hard to handle in a way. Hmm. It helps in passing. Passing. Hmm. Is it like passing in football, maybe? An arm? Hmm. Can we get any of these downs here? Ali, Sh Ali Sheedy of the Brat Pack. Brat Pack was the uh, actors that were in the Breakfast Club. Chance to go. A turn, like in a board game? Yeah. One R in R and R. Uh, rest and relaxation, right? Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't know what this is. Oh, and I, it's not the state Idaho, it's an Idaho potato. So it's a tater. All right, hard to handle in a way. Can we get this now? Binge fest. Whoppers. S S'mores, no. Hmm. Sloped roof support. It's not. Is it a rafter, maybe? So this is an arm. Hmm. Ooh, this section is tricky in here. Give extra consideration with on. It's not dote on. Hmm. All right, well, let's think about it and maybe come back to it. I don't want to dwell too much on it. Okay, eponym of the Detroit Lions field. Oh, yeah, I don't know what their football field is called. Hmm. Can we come back up here, maybe? App name for us, a lawyer is going to be Sue. So sue me. All right, uh, feature of a classical Greek drama. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, it's not like tragedy or something, is it? Oh, it's a chorus. Yeah, there's usually a chorus in a, a classical Greek drama, right? Okay, company whose business is picking up is Uber. Yeah, it's like picking up passengers, a taxi service. Eleanor Rigby. That was a title woman, right? Off color is racy. Okay, I was close with my um, blue attempt there. Is she dead, maybe? As per your request. Okay, yeah. All right, we cleaned up that area pretty nicely. Um, seedy area? Hmm. Preserve in a way. Hmm. Result of a breast pocket mishap. Maybe... I would think that would be maybe like an an ink blot or something. Like if a pen exploded in your pocket. Ink blot, yeah. Hmm. I think now and later has to be right though. There's just too much stuff confirming it. Hmm. All right, let's see if we can build out from a new area here. Maker of the X6 and Z4. Uh. I don't know, is it? BMW? I don't think so. Maybe it's Kia. Just trying to think of some th three letter automakers here. The blank is wider than the sky. Start of an Emily Dickinson poem. Hmm. Bit of fill in the blanks fun. It's a Mad Lib, right? No, oh, maybe it was BMW. All right. Should have gone with my gut. Okay, BMW. And then Mad Lib. So what's this W? Subject of international treaties. Maybe it's weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. 
quickly learn one's lesson. I guess that's cram. That's a fun clue. If you're doing a cram session. Hmm. Corporate money managers for short. That should be chief financial officers. Uh, the South Beach and Paleo for two. Those are fad diets. Yeah. Seedy area. I guess that's soil. <laughs> you plant your seeds in a soil. Um, the brain, maybe? Interesting. Baby Ruth Snickers. Yeah, I should have thought of that. It's a, it's a very obvious uh, candy bar to choose for this, this theme. Um, okay, false accusation informally. Hmm. Yeah, this is looking like ink, isn't it? It's not ink plot, though. Ink mark? Hmm. Big Apple media initials. That should be New York Times. A little self-reference there. Compliance sport. C compliance sorts. Hmm. I would want that to be like Yes Men or something. Squalid digs. Um, what do they call that? Like, it's not a pigsty. Is it a rat trap? Is that a thing people say? I don't know. I don't know if I just made that up or not. Sports team MVPs. Hmm. No, it's VIPs. Sports team VIPs. I'm not sure. Doctors Without Borders, e.g. Isn't that an NGO, non-governmental organization? Mm. NGO. Hmm. Startling sound. Is it eek? Something wrong in here. this down here. Only Stratego piece with a letter on it. Oh boy. I think I played Stratego once when I was like nine. Hmm. Horse. Croak? No. Froggy? That doesn't make sense either. Preserve in a way. Wish I could get this. Maybe if I could, maybe I can work back up from down here. Business for Sanders supporters. And this is a name. Because it's capitalized. Is it Bernie Sanders? Hmm. One may be nominated for a Hugo Award. Hugo is, um,. Oh, it's, it's science fiction, isn't it? Um, fiction. Yeah, I don't know. Least forward. Well, that's going to be EST. I mean, it's when it's something that's it's like a superlative like this. You can usually put in EST at the end or IEST, depending on what it looks like it's going to be. So even though I don't know what this is, I, I think it should be shyest. Maybe actually, that could be it. Or like meekest, yeah. It's a way to get some squares in when you're not sure what the answer is going to be. Rocker Cobain, that's going to be Kurt Cobain. Um, yeah, I think it, Kurt Cobain. And then what is this? Shouldn't that be A-OK? -okay? Yeah, so maybe it's not shyest. Um, Alma Mater for Spike Lee and Donald Glover for short. Uh, maybe it's NYU? I don't know that, but it looks like it might fit. And they're both New York guys, right? So maybe this is coyest? Yeah. And then... Still not sure what this is going to be. Fantasy. Yeah, that looks like fantasy... Um, writer, maybe? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, it's not Bernie Sanders. It's... Colonel Sanders. Okay. Uh, maybe it is ink mark. I really, it didn't, that didn't sound good to me, but it's looking like that's what it is. Um, 
False accusation. Bummer. I don't think that's what it is. Uh, hmm, we're going to have to come back to this. This is a, kind of a messy area right there. Hop strength oven. Hmm. What is that? I don't know if I've seen this word before. It's not... Is this a, a acronym or something, maybe? Hmm. Scaredy cat? Oh, maybe it's Ford. That makes sense, because they're in Detroit. What is an oast? Oast, interesting. I don't think I've seen that word before. Hmm. Dangerous move on a busy highway. Yeah, that's a U-E, U-turn. Coarse farm sound. Is that a bray from a donkey? Hmm. Yeah, that's a nice callback to our uh, asses clue there. Could, could have cross-clued that. Um, oh, okay, yeah, this is, I think, Latin. Rara avis. I only know that because I've seen it on crosswords. I think it just means literally rare bird in... Latin. It's a sneaky way to call someone a weirdo. All right, so like a ray of sunshine. So I guess they want this to be spelled U-E like that. Um, false fronts is facades. Okay, yeah, this is looking good. I'm dreading coming back up here though, but let's not think about that right now. When EMTs bring home the bacon. Okay, so uh, I think this is Payday. Payday is a chocolate bar, I believe. Um, and then EMTs? What is that? Uh, some sort of doctor, maybe? I mean, EMTs aren't doctors, though. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some help on the downs here. Blueberries for blank. Kidlet Classic. Ben, maybe? I don't think I've heard of this. Follower of word or potato. Hmm. Word salad, potato salad. Oh, there we go. It's not Ben. Legendary password stealer. Is this literally in legend? Is it like, um, Alibaba maybe? Yeah, because he... Did he, he's the one that learned how to say open sesame. Is that right? I might just be making half of that up, but I'm going to put in Alibaba because it sounds good. Okay. Higher as ambitions. I think that's loftier. Any Olympian wants. Hmm. Is this going to be like a, a group of people, maybe? Like a nationality? Promises, promises. I do's. <laughs> That's a pretty good clue for that one. Uh, numerous could just be a lot of, possibly. Hmm. Air conditioner spec is going to be a BTU. I think that's British thermal unit. It's like a measurement of how powerful the air conditioner is. Oh, any Olympian once was an amateur. Yeah, they used to only allow amateurs to be to compete in the Olympics. Yeah, that caused some strange issues. Cutting edge. Is that a hair something? Hair clip? Is this an H? Attention hog, maybe. Hmm. Longtime Japanese PM who stepped down last year in 2020. Yeah, that's Shinzo Abe. Tarnish, I guess, is Mar, and then, yeah, an attention hog would be a ham. Okay. Galoot? I mean, that could be an oaf or an ape. Hmm. Really good time. Um, Is it like Blast or something? Hmm. Build your own Tex-Mex dish, I think, or fajita. Yeah. Members of the crow family. Isn't that a... Isn't there a bird called a jack? I'm thinking of like a jackdaw, maybe? 
Could that be a K down here? Drops an F bomb, say. No, that should be swears. Maybe it's just J's. Hmm. They can be batted and rolled. <laughs> That's your eyes. That's a cute clue. They go wherever the wind blows. I guess that sails, like on a sailing vessel. Uh oh. What is this? Cutting edge. One of these is wrong. Life saver, right? Yeah. Life savers. Payday. So this is not sales. What is this? Veins, like a weather vein. Yeah, okay. Is this hairline? I guess that's the edge where you cut when you get a haircut. It's a little bit weird, but I guess that's fine. Running team of the NCAA Division One College Basketball. Hmm. Is it Utes? I don't know. Yeah, it could be Yug. Uh, Lug, I mean. Yeah. Really good time as a gas. Yeah, okay. Okay. So... What is this? I definitely am not recognizing this name at all. Hmm. Give me a... This could be so many things. Uh, takes steps. Hmm. Symbols and Twitter handles. Those are ads. Acts. Okay, wow, that is such a generic clue. Give me a sec, I guess. So then, Peppies? Pepis? Hmm. Wasn't there like an Egyptian ruler named Pepis? Anyway. Uh, let's move on. Does a dog trick. Um, speaks, I think? Yeah. When high school seniors often visit the colleges that accepted them. Hmm. April? Yeah, that sounds around... Yeah, around the right time. Like binary questions, that's going to be yes, no. I think we've got one more sweet, sweet clue to figure out here. Some astronomy PhDs. Yeah, Mars. Yeah, I was wondering if we we're going to see that. Um, Mars Smarties? Uh? Boy, I really want it to be Smarties. Maybe it's not writer then. Let's put it in. Mars Smarties. Yeah, I like that. Comparable 2 is going to be akin to. Portrait scene on renminbi bills. That's Chinese currency. That's probably going to be Mao. Capital near the North Sea is Oslo. Yep. Yeah. Car sticker fig. I mean, this could be MPG, maybe? I think that's probably what it is. Miles per gallon. Roses are red. Nonsense. I guess that could be rot. All right, I think we have enough crossing. Let's see if we can get these long ones here. Disciple, protege maybe? Yeah. Prepares for. Gets ready for. And again, with these these clues with the um, an additional word in the parentheses after it, you have to imagine the answer will have that same word at the end of it. So that's why when I say prepares for, I'll say gets ready for, because you, you have to imagine it has that same word at the end. Volt amperes, those are watts. Gets set for, I think, yeah. So, fantasy movies, maybe. Are Hugos only from movies? Hmm. Guthrie, who performed at Woodstock. Not Woody Guthrie. Hmm. I mean... Whoa? That doesn't really make sense to me. Anatomical pouch. Huh. Yeah, none of these look good. Maybe it's not movies. All right, let's leave that alone for a minute. Declare. Maybe that's a ledge? Hmm. 
where hangers hang. That's a closet, right? Uh, yeah, that should be a sack. Um, I mean, well, fantasy series. Yeah, I guess that could be Arlo Guthrie. Yes, that looks better. Okay, so. Yeah, I guess <laughs> I do know a little bit of folk music. <laughs> That's why when you're like, how did you know this music person? I've heard of a little bit of folk stuff. I like kind of like weird old timey folk music. Okay. Um, okay. So this is sleep on. I just had to sleep on this clue and then I could get it. Okay. So Whopper's Spree. Yeah. Spree is a lesser known candy. I think I used to like it as a kid, but I don't see much of it anymore. It's kind of like, um, they kind of look like Mentos. I, I guess they're, they're sort of like Mentos, but like fruity flavors. Yeah. I guess that's the best way to describe them. Hard to handle. I guess that's Ely. Um, yeah. And it helps in passing is yay. Yeah. Like passing a bill. Mm. Yeah. I didn't think about that meaning of passing. Okay. So we cleared up that section. We just have this. Um, I feel like if I could get this clue, it would break everything open. Preserve in a way. Care? That doesn't really make sense to me. Um, core? No. Horse could be raspy though, right? Yeah. So what, what are the possibilities here? Care? Seer with an E somehow? Cure. Oh, yeah, like you're curing food. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cured. I think you, you salt something, right? So you could salt tofu, maybe, or something like that. All right. Um, false accusation informally. It really it keeps wanting to be bummer. I really don't think that's what it's going to be. Um, hmm. What's this one? I guess it's spy. Maybe it has the letter S on it, possibly. Okay, false accusation is a bum rap. Yes, I've heard that. Okay. Uh, what in the world? Oh, man. You know what? Everything I had in there was right. It just, it just, I couldn't see it. So this is, I think this is GMs, and then this is BAM for a startling sound. And this is obeyers, like they live, right? And then it is org. I really don't like this answer. This is so generic. And then this is like, this is such a specific organization. Like it has things about it. Like, like I was saying, like NGO that I think would be more appropriate, like I don't know. I think you could come up with another example of an organization if that's all you wanted. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. But anyway, let's see if this does the the trick for us here. All right. 40 minutes. All right, that's a little slow, but um, I think the last 10 minutes were sort of spent languishing in that corner up there. So overall, it's not too bad. I really, you know, I enjoyed this theme a lot. This is cute. It's not like anything too groundbreaking, but um, yeah, it's kind of like, smashing two candies together to get a weird clue but um i don't know anyway i i had fun coming up with the candy answers anyway that was a fun little challenge um and i thought yeah the rest of it was really fair i thought um yeah there wasn't a ton of proper names or anything and um other than this corner yeah it all went down pretty smoothly like a nice sweet piece of candy all right i hope you enjoyed solving with me um i will be back at you tomorrow for the monday and i'll see you next time